Walking side by side with death. Ike Taylor mocks your every step. We'll get to the Zeppelin concert film later, but right now, Ike Taylor. Ike is such a baby, such a whiny, skinned knee third grader. Not only did Ike Taylor complain about the media on his radio show Tuesday, he did it again yesterday after Steelers practice. He complained about the media to the media. What a punk. That's the only word to describe Ike Taylor. A grade A punk. To quote the Godfather, you can act like a man. What's the matter with you? Ike is mad at Bill Cowher, his old coach, now a network analyst. Bill Cowher said the Steelers' number one problem on defense is Ike Taylor. Cowher had the numbers, or as Ike likes to say, facts. Nine penalties against Ike. Four touchdowns allowed by Ike. 44 times targeted, which means every offensive game plan is based in large part on picking on Ike. Bill Cowher's not lying. The numbers aren't lying. Those are facts. But Ike wants the media to be family. Swear to God he said that. He said the media should get behind the Steelers. We're all one family here in Pittsburgh. Okay, Ike, let's be family. I'll be the funny uncle. You can be the lobotomized kid who lives in a closet that nobody talks about. Facts are facts. Ike Taylor's a bum. According to a website called Pro Football Focus, they keep all kinds of stats and tell us about all kinds of facts. Ike Taylor ranks number 96 among NFL cornerbacks. 96, based on stats, or as Ike would say, facts. Ike's a bum. What a buffoon. Yo, does anyone think Ike Taylor has a point? Should the media and teams of Pittsburgh stick together? I think that's ridiculous. I think you want objectivity, but maybe um, wrong. Some Steelers news, Lawrence Timmons hurt his ankle in practice yesterday. No definite word on his status for Cincinnati Sunday. But as we talked about with Tom Bradley earlier in the week, the Steelers are at the point where the injuries can't be overcome, where the injury list is just overwhelming. You like to say the standard is the standard, but you can't sprinkle pixie dust on Doug Ligurski and suddenly he turns into a beautiful Marquise Pouncey. It just does not work that way. Want to get a lot of calls today? Here's a further update from Steeler practice. Ben left practice early today with a right ankle injury. Leftwich finished at Ben's request, but the injury is not thought to be serious. Indianapolis Colts have signed former Steelers tight end Wesley Saunders. He will bring the jugs to the party. I got an email yesterday saying, You say whatever you want about the Steelers because you never go to the locker room. Because you never have to face them. Anybody can be brave when you never have to face them. Okay, I really need a guy sending an anonymous email to define bravery for me. That whole premise is silly. It makes no difference in what I say. The Steelers' media availability doesn't jive with my schedule. But, in the interest of fairness, I offer now a compromise. I am making myself available to the Steelers every Thursday at 6.15 p.m. here in my office on Fleet Street, just off Green Tree Road. It's the building that looks like a Rubik's Cube. Ike, you could never solve it, but you could visit. Every Thursday, 6.15, Steelers stop on up. We'll hug it out. 6.15 Thursdays right here at my office. Steelers and Bengals Sunday night. Hate that. Hate Sunday night football. This game is really ground zero. No excuses, only results. You lose, you're two and four. 
You're one and four in conference. I'm really not sure you recover from that. Here's something scary. Steelers favored. Steelers favored on the road by a point and a half at Cincinnati. How about A-Rod picking up women while he's benched? During games while he's benched? I kind of like it. You know what else I'd like? A-Rod coming to Pittsburgh. In a moment, I'll tell you why it makes sense. 105.9 The X.